2022 2022 5th june prelim paper for aptitude welcome to mera desi swag here in this week and in this month in fact i'll be discussing the paper uh, which was uh, today conducted today 5th june 2022 for prelim stage i hope Uh, those who appeared today felt that the day was fair to them um when i looked at the question set i had set be with me i could see that there were 25 questions asked from 15 passages uh some passages passages had two questions and some of them had one whereas uh, the maximum number of questions number of questions in any passage uh, uh, was 3 so i'm looking at uh, all of these um, one by one i'll come with the video when uh, when you demand <laughs> so the first passage that i'm going to discuss is the last passage in this set i sort of felt that uh, starting from uh, the last few passages could give uh, some people more confidence because towards the beginning the passages were more complex and uh, i'll come back to that discussion later in another video maybe so let's look at this one passage 2 is the last passage in set b the demographic dividend most of you should all already be familiar with this phrase demographic dividend demography measurement of number of people kind of people type of people uh, here it means number of people dividend what do you get out of uh, that uh, graph or that measure so this passage uh, may be part of economics um, you see you can read the passage if you haven't read it today a little and ignore the marks on this page because i've borrowed it from someone so take a few seconds pause the video and read the passage at your own pace and try solving if you haven't already if you've read it at the count of 5 i'll come back and discuss and ask you to answer question number 73 which is here 5 4 3 2 1 the demographic dividend which has begun in india and it, and is expected to last another few decades is a great window of opportunity the demographic dividend is basically a swelling in the working age population which conversely means that so the meaning is here relative ratio of very young and very old will when you see the word will it means most certainly for a while be on the decline you have one point here so when i have hard copy i kind of mark it on the side when i have to gather points from the experience of ireland and china to examples given examples don't usually give us an answer they are there to support in most cases unless there is instruction that includes something from the example we know that this can be a source of energy and engine of economic growth uh, the demographic dividend tends to raise a nation savings rate since in any nation it is the working age population that is the main saver why does it tend to raise a nation savings rate because it is the main saver but do we have this question what is the question would invariably usually happen in a country which of the following when the demographic dividend has begun to operate okay uh, so what we see is point number 1 for a while be on the decline the relative ratio okay this will happen from the experience we see can be a source will can certainly has the potential tends to raise a nation savings rate tends to has a tendency to can do this in any nation it is the working age population that is the main saver because of this reason 
and since the savings rate is an important driver of growth this should help elevate our growth rate all this if happens you know because there is can tenancy however the benefits of this depend on the quality of the working age population so there is a however here but there is a condition for this to happen for economic growth to have to be elevated for growth rate to be elevated this has to happen and this implies bringing back the importance of education acquisition skills and human capital now look at the options here the number of illiterate people will decrease if we have more number of young people will certainly do we know that for sure so you put a dot if you are apprehensive if you are in doubt the ratio of very old and very young will decrease for a while well exactly from the passage we are very sure of this answer but before we choose this answer we have to read the other statements and the options given here population growth rate will quickly stabilize quickly stabilize will certainly well so far it seems there was only one will statement that we sort of looked at which was this one will so select the correct answer one and two mm, one we can't say one is ruled out number of illiterate people will decrease if one is ruled out then we are left with two only you don't have to even go at third option two only is for sure its answer i'll share more if and when you want i hope you take out some time to relax rejuvenate <laughs> and uh, find your energy and motivation back i hope you all remember the philosophy karmarne va dikaraste ma phaleshu kadachana karm karte chao keep going on keep doing without getting attached to the outcome uh let me attach uh, to this video the second question from the same passage with reference to the passage which of the following inferences can be drawn demographic demographic dividend is an essential condition for a country to rapidly increase its economic growth rate is it an essential condition can countries without this also rapidly increase on certain occasions if that's true then this may not be true because it says it's an essential condition without this this can't happen promotion of higher education is an essential condition for a country for its rapid economic growth promotion of basic education or higher education how much uh, can promotion of higher education guarantee and as guarantee rapid economic growth that's also questionable in many context mm, in the wake of these arguments i have a feeling that it could be neither one not two now for those who uh, read these passages in hindi here i give them a view of this passage aap rok sakte hain pause kar sakte hain video aur passage ko aap pad sakte hain demographic dividend janankiya labhansh ka avsar तो सवाल में पूछा जा रहा है क्या और क्या पैसेज के बीच में से ही आपको कोई सीधा सीधा उत्तर मिल जाता है जैसे कि ये वाला सेवेंटी फोर्थ क्वेश्चन का आंसर ना तो एक और ना ही दो अगर आपके पास और सवाल हैं तो आप मुझे ईमेल कर सकते हैं या फिर आप कमेंट बॉक्स में अपना कमेंट ड्रॉप कर सकते हैं मैं आपके क्वेश्चंस का आंसर करने की जल्दी से जल्दी कोशिश करूंगी टेक केयर बाय